I'm sorry, I didn't, uh, it's time for the show. Sorry, I was just reading the Go Triad, uh, Greensboro's newspaper. There's evidently an article in here about some online trivia uh, community theater thing. I'm gonna have to read that later. Thank you so much for spending your part of your Saturday night with me and us and your community family, your community theater family. I am Cravey Train. I will be your host and mansplainer. Oh my word, what is it, like eight weeks we've been doing this now? Uh, and I started out as a kind of a small thing. We now have people watching from around the world. We have uh, friends in New Zealand. I know I have friends in Panama watching right now. Uh, we have friends in the United Kingdom. Thank you all so much for spending an evening with us. Um, as always, this is a very special pandemic episode uh, performed completely in isolation of the Battle of the Community Theater Stars. And one of the reasons we do this show is to try and raise money for our favorite local community theaters to try and keep the doors open. So if you're having a good time, find their links on their Facebook page or on their web pages and throw them a few bucks. But what you're really here to see tonight is tonight's three contestants go head to head battling for community theater trivia knowledge supremacy. So here we go. Let's meet tonight's first contestant. Please welcome Brandon Lloyd. Yo, Brandon. what's up? Hey, Brandon. Uh, thank you so much for being with us tonight. Uh, uh, that's a great <laughs> picture. What is that? Uh, what is that from? That's actually from Theater Alliance cheating back in the day. Yes. Right. I was a psychic country boy. I see. And I see you have a lovely shirt. What's the uh, what's the story on your shirt there? Uh, the one you're wearing now. Oh, the one I'm wearing. Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought you were talking about the one in the picture. No, that's yeah. just this flat. is a Beetlejuice shirt. <laughs> this is Beetlejuice <laughs> riding his snake all around. I was like, I just like red and blue. I don't know why. No, yeah, no, that was not a trick. I was talking about the Beetlejuice shirt. Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon, thank you for coming in. And let's see who you're facing off again. Please welcome Alan Mueller. Alan, are you there? I'm here. Hey. Hey. Uh, Thank you so much for joining us. I see you're here. Now, I know you've done lots and lots of shows for CTG. Is that correct? That is incorrect. I've done one ever. That's it. <laughs> Just one. And and this would be, I think, this is Jesus Christ Superstar, right? Jesus Christ Superstar. I was Simon the Zealot, and I was in it with my family, and it was the coolest experience ever. But otherwise, I'm a CTG groupie. Uh, Been to a lot of CTG stuff. Love, love it. All right, all right. I saw that show, and it was, it was great. Um, we had a great time when we went to see it. Well, guys, uh, I have a, another guest for you. Uh, please welcome from High Point Community Theater, Nick Helms. Hello. Hey, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you? All right. Looks like we're at a Dave Matthews concert here. Uh, <laughs> now, is this the you're an it, the picture? The first time I looked at it, it looks like you're an acrobat, kind of standing on your own shoulders there. Yeah, I I am. I'm very talented in acrobatics. <laughs> Now, <laughs> Nick, I understand uh, High Point has a, a big vote coming up next week. Can you tell us uh, what's going on there with the theater? Yeah, so uh, the city of High Point has proposed their budget for next year, and they have actually eliminated all funding for the arts and for cultural organizations. Um, so we have a link on our Facebook page right now that will give you uh, all the emails and contact information for the city council members. And we've got some like talking points that you can send in just to advocate for them to send us a little money. All right. Well, it sounds like you should probably be try and be as smart as possible so you can send seventeen dollars to High Point Community Theater when this thing is done. Uh, but you're not just playing for the seventeen dollars. No, no, no. We have a twenty dollar gift certificate, uh, courtesy of our friend David Swift to the Sherwood. It's a restaurant in Winston Salem. I was checking their menu online. It looks fantastic. They have fried pickles and things like that. My wife walked in. She said, do you want to go there sometime? I said, I sure would. I uh, sure uh, would. Uh, All right. Oh, <laughs> you're so funny. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right. So you've all seen the show before. You know, there's three rounds. You're going to, there's 10 questions in each round. You're going to buzz in with the correct answer. It gets you one point. Um, unfortunately the batteries, I, it's my fault. I left the, our buzzers on and the batteries, uh, ran out. And so they are on back order. So I have distributed analog buzzers to each of you. Brandon, could I get you to test your buzzer for us? Yo. Yo. All right. Very good. Very strong. Uh, Alan, let's hear. Beep. Beep. Yes. Good. And, uh, Nick, what is your buzzer? It's going to be in honor of my dream role, Milky White and Into the Woods. Moo. Very nice. Very nice. Well, someday, fingers crossed, you'll get to live that dream. So 
Here is our first test question. In the musical Frozen, what is Kristoff's reindeer companion's name? <laughs> Alan. Sven. Sven is correct. Very good. Now that was, not, that was not for any points or money. That was just an example. So you know uh, what it's like. All right. I let you have that one. Yeah, you're playing for a jackpot of $17 and for the gift certificate. Let me just adjust my screen here real quick so I can see. All right, much better. Round one. This is uh, this category was written by our friend Angela Chandler. You probably remember her from a couple weeks ago. This is all about the Tonys. All right, question number one. This Pitch Perfect star is among the youngest Tony Award nominees. Over the last five years, she's taken our hearts up in the air. Go, no. go, Brandon. Anna Kendrick. Anna Kendrick is correct. That is a point for Little Theater of Winston-Salem. Question number two. This show about a production of Taming of the Shrew was the first to win a Tony for Best Musical. Yo. Yo, Brandon. Uh, kiss, uh, kiss Me Kate, no. Not Kiss Me Kate. Yes? I'm waiting. Is that your kiss answer? Kiss Me Kate? Yeah, Kiss Me Kate. Kiss Me oh! Kate. Is <laughs> I was going to see if you are going to talk yourself out of it. Yeah. <laughs> That's another... You almost, you almost snatched defeat from the jaws of victory. Very good. Uh, kiss me, Kate. Question number three. In 2004, this musical won Best New Musical over Wicked to much surprise. Sucks to be them. Yo. Boo. Yo, Brandon. Avenue Q. Avenue Q, of course. Very good. All right. Question number four. In 2020, the Tony Awards have been canceled. However, it is being replaced by this movie's musical sing-along. Moo. Moo. Nick. Grief. Yes, unfortunately. Uh, uh. <laughs> not unfortunately that you are right. Unfortunately, they've replaced it with a sing-along of Grease. All right. Next, uh, next question. Question number five. Marley Matlin won an Oscar for the film adaptation of what Tony Award-winning play? Yo. Yo, Brandon. Carousel? <laughs> no, unfortunately. No, no. I don't know why I said that. No, oh, because it is, in fact, the name of a play. Uh, anybody else want to take a crack at it? Yo. Brandon. Is it Miracle Word? No. <laughs> I tried. I tried. Alan? Children of a Lesser God? Children of a Lesser God is correct. <laughs> CTG is now on the board with a point. Boo, Grease, but yay, Nick. <laughs> Question number six. What 1999 Lincoln Center production of a Shakespeare play got a Tony nomination for Best Revival of a Play with a pond on stage, two sets of twins, Paul Rudd and Helen Hunt? Yo. Yo. Uh, Twelfth Brandon. Night. Twelfth Night. <laughs> I was going to say that. I really Wait was. A second. <laughs> <laughs> subliminal so fast yeah i, I clear i'm gonna i'm gonna get on to whoever's running the slideshow about that he's fired Actually, philip philip will get on to him about that yes 12 night. Well, don't worry <laughs> question number seven this play one playwright tracy lets a pulitzer despite its three-hour runtime audiences pack the house to see this family crash and burn yo Yo, Brandon. Grapes of Wrath? No. Ooh. This play won Tracy Let's Yo. Go. Brandon? Is it Cat on a Hot Tin Roof? It is not. Beep, beep, beep. Alan. Kardashians the Musical. No. Moo. Uh, Nick. What is Annie? <laughs> <laughs> No, it is August Osage County. Dang it. Yeah. <laughs> that's written you, about my family, actually. <laughs> the tech the tech crew and llamas have been sacked. Yeah, if you if you answer and you get it wrong, don't don't buzz in again. Okay, I won't. All right, thank you. All right, question number eight. Unless it's twelfth night, then go ahead and, and answer again. I uh, Question number eight. Julie Taymor made history in 1998 for being the first women, woman to win a Tony for Best Director for what show? Yo. Yo, Brandon. Lion King. The Lion King is correct. Very good. 
Question number nine. This trilogy of plays by Tom Stoppard, Voyage, Shipwreck, and Salvage holds the record for the most Tony Award wins and nominations. Yo. Yo. Brandon. Oh, Titanic. No. <laughs> oh, yeah, they didn't salvage that one. No. <laughs> <laughs> Moo. Moo. Nick. What is Annie? Annie, again. <laughs> no, I'm afraid not. <laughs> One day it's going to be right. No, but you have watched enough shows, you know, guessing Annie eventually is correct. No, it is the coast of Utopia. Same thing, really. Yeah, no, it's really, it's a hard. Yeah. <laughs> Question number 10. Clearly, we went a little harder this week. We will not make that mistake again. Number 10, this soprano holds the record for the most Tonys for her performances in Ragtime, A Raisin in the Sun, and Porgy and Best to Name. Yo, okay. you. No. Yo. I heard uh, Beep first. Sarah Brightman? No. Yo, 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 no. yo, yo. Brandon. Audra McDonald. Audra McDonald is correct, yes. yes. The one, the only Audra McDonald. Very good. All right. Well, let's see what the scores are. Eric, Little Theater with a commanding lead, six. CTG and High Point, just five points behind. All right, we're going to move on to round two. Excuse me. Um, round two, this was actually something I did for my when I was hosting uh, trivia at another, at another place. Uh, she's got Steve Buscemi eyes. So a couple of years ago on Reddit, uh, people would uh, Photoshop Steve, the actor Steve Buscemi's eyes onto other famous people. Uh, he went on the Seth Meyers show, and Seth Meyers showed him several pictures of Disney princesses with uh, Steve Buscemi eyes photoshopped on, and he said, I don't know, I think it makes them look hotter. So I'm going to show you a celebrity with Steve Buscemi's eyes photoshopped onto him. You just have to identify them. Pretty straightforward, right? Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> Beep! So, <laughs> we, yeah, that one is Steve Buscemi. Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So there is a clue with each one. Please wait till I finish reading the clue. Here we go. Here's our example. Destiny's Progeny. Moo. Moo. That is Nick. Beyonce. It is Beyonce. Wow. Very good. Uh, I, yeah. Wow. She it's like when you, cool. when you walk around the room, the eyes follow you like those pictures of Jesus at grandma's house. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Question number one. Gentlemen prefer Buscemi eyes. Yo. No. Yo, that is Marilyn Monroe. Brandon. Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe is correct. Yes. Very good. All right. Number two. Played Jesus in The Last Temptation of Christ. Yo. Beep. Alan. Willem Dafoe. Willem Dafoe is correct. Good job. <laughs> Question number three. Recorded an album, Yeezus. Yo, Who? yo, Brandon. Kanye West. Kanye West is correct. There he is. <laughs> Creepy. <laughs> All right, number four. Canadian heartthrob. Yo. Beep, Alan. Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber is correct. A high school yearbook photo. He looks kind of like. The guy from uh, the Goonies. Yeah, he looks like Sloth from the Goonies. Yeah! <laughs> there you go. All right. Question number five. Fashion designers. Yo. Moo. No. Brandon. Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen. Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen are correct. I think it's really cool how they both starred in that Dark Crystal prequel that came out on Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was them. Yeah. All right. Number six. Played Scotty in the recent Star Trek movies. Yo. Yo, Brandon. Simon Pegg. Simon Pegg is all right. Alan, Nick, do you want to lie down for a little while? Maybe get some rest, a beverage or something? My, the battery in my buzzer is malfunctioning. Oh, okay. so. I'm sorry, guys. I'm yeah. trying to give you a, like, a little weight on some of them, but oh, I'm itching oh, to Don't it. help <laughs> us, Brandon. You know what? <laughs> Brandon, your pity pauses. Brandon, High Point Theater is in a serious budget crisis right now, but you go ahead if it makes you feel like a big man, all right? I go think yeah, that the little theater would be happy if I send my check to them. That'll all be right. fine. I'll do that. <laughs> Number seven, won an Oscar for a 2016 musical. Yo. Yo, Brandon. Uh, uh, no, never mind. Nope, nope. All right. Alan, Nick. Moo. 
Moo, Nick. Emma Stone? Emma Stone is correct. <laughs> yep, Good job. That is her. Wow. All right. <laughs> Number eight. And this category is going to give me nightmares. <laughs> Number eight. She's a big Prince fan. Yo. Yo, Brandon. That's uh, Kate. Princess Kate Middleton. Kate Middleton is correct. No, not Princess, but Kate Middleton, yeah. Kate Middleton, yes. All right. <laughs> Number nine. You miss her every day. Moo. No. No. Moo. Nick. Michelle Obama. Michelle Obama is correct. Yeah. And we do miss her every day. Number 10. Rogue act actress. Yo. Yo, Brandon. Brie Larson. No. Alan, Nick. Moo. Moo. Uh, Nick. Annie. Annie. <laughs> You is are, her name Annie? You're you're actually pretty close. Uh, Alan, you want to take a crack at it? Uh, uh, Beep! Yes, Alan. Stephanie Buscemi. Stephanie Buscemi. No, you were... Uh, it was Anna Paquin. So, oh, Nick, you were... That's what I said. You were very <laughs> close. Uh, she's a true-blooded Canadian. Yes, Anna Paquin. All right, that was disturbing and now little theater with 11 ctg with three high point with three and a tight tight race for second place um i'm sorry I re i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm really a nice person i promise i'm sorry <laughs> all right well let's go with round three now round three is a little high concept i do need to explain it just a bit i know all of us theater nerds we recognize the, the bug in kids early, and we do our best to try and get them on stage as early as we can. We put them in kids' plays. We put them in things like uh, 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 Wizard of Oz, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, Frozen, Moana, things like that. And when we run out of things like that, we go with slightly more adult plays, but then we make them junior, like Hairspray Junior, okay? Oh, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to describe a play, and I'm going to describe what they took out of it to make it junior, you're going to have to tell me what play it is. So, for example, if and you're going to have to end your answer with the word junior. So if I'm describing Hedvig and the Angry Inch, you're going to have to say Hedvig and the Angry Inch Junior. OK, does everybody yeah. understand? That sounds yes. cool. Yes. All right. So we, we do have a sample question here for it. Uh, here's our example. This popular musical cleaned up the lyrics. So Danny now sings, you know that I ain't bragging. She's a real snuggle wagon. Beep. Beep. Alan. Uh, Grease. No, I'm sorry. Anybody else want to do it? Ring Junior. In? Yeah, Yo, Grease Jr. Grease Jr. Yo, Grease Jr. is correct. Brandon had, would have gotten that. Right. Yeah, she's a real snuggle wagon. All right, you get the idea. Here we go. Um, question number one. Instead of everyone dying at the end, the, this da the Danish prince sits at a friendship table and talks out his problems with his family. Yo. No. Yo. Brandon. Hamlet Jr. Hamlet Jr. is correct. All right. Number two. In this Fosse musical, six little girls sing about what they did to go to time out. Yo. Brandon. Chicago Jr. Chicago Jr. is correct. All right. Question number three. In this musical, the song Dance 10 Looks 3 is about behaving well in school with a new lyric, sits in class. Yo. No. Yo. Brandon. Chorus Line Jr. A chorus line junior, yes. All right. I'm pretty sure Brandon's won it at this point, but let's just go through the motions to pretend like we're still having fun. Question number four. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this musical about a boat voyage softens the original Cole Porter lyrics. Some get a kick from cocaine to I cook hot dogs with propane. Yo. Yo. Yo, Brandon. And I just like to call out the person who says that I'm cheating and got the study guide early, but it's anything goes junior. Anything goes junior is correct. Yes. All right. Question number five. Brandon, you want to go ahead and ring in? Or? No, 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 no. I'm done. I'm done. All right. All right. In this musical, based on a Stephen King novel, novel, the title character has a lovely prom where her friends shower her with bacon and she lives happily ever after with her mom. No. Beep, Alan. Carrie Jr.? Carrie Jr. is correct. 
All right, question number six. In this intense David Mamet play, the professor and his female college student peacefully agree to disagree, and she ends up getting a B minus for the semester. Yo. Yo. Uh, Brandon. Venus and Fur. <laughs> Junior. <laughs> no. Alan, Nick, you want to take a crack at it? Moo. Moo. Nick. Annie Junior. <laughs> Annie Junior. <laughs> yes. That's. I'm and, holding out hope. Uh, I'll say we give him a point. Yeah, you know what? Give give Nick a point for that, a Annie Jr. Sure. Yeah, Nick took my guess. Yeah. All right. It, yeah. It's Oleana Jr. And clearly none of you have seen that because just the words Oleana do not make you cringe. <laughs> All right. Question number seven. In the final act of this musical, based on weekly world news articles, it is revealed that the title character got his unusual nickname because his mother had married Bruce Wayne instead of a science experiment gone wrong. Beep. Beep. Alan. Spider-Man Jr. Okay, I'm embarrassed for both of us now. No. Yo. Uh, yo. Toxic Brandon. Avenger Jr. Toxic Avenger Jr. No. Moo. Nick. Nick. Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark Jr. No. Bruce Wayne was Batman, and that would be Batboy Jr. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. He's so cute. Look at those ears. <laughs> <laughs> All right, question number eight. In this musical based on a Sam Raimi film, the audience is sprayed with a fine mist of essential oils as Ash and his friends have a surprise birthday party in the basement of an old cabin in the woods. Yo. Yo, Brandon. Evil Dead the Musical Jr. Evil Dead the Musical Jr., yes, correct. Good, very good. All right, question number nine. In this beloved Sondheim musical, we just end the whole damn thing at act one so everyone gets a happy ending, just like real life. Moo. Moo, Nick. Into the Woods Jr. Into the Woods Jr., yes. And as I was writing it, it turns out that's exactly what they do in Into the Woods Jr. It is, it is. <laughs> All right. And finally, question number 10, really the one I'm most proud of writing. In this musical, Liesl falls in love with Rolf, who turns out to be fiscally conservative, but socially liberal. Yo. Yo. Yo, Brandon. The Sound of Music Jr. The Sound of Music Jr. All right. Very good. Um, you know what? We're going to have them tally up the scores and see who won this thing. Who is tonight's big winner, Eric? Mm. Philip? Mm. Who could it be? Mm. <laughs> well, I'm so sorry. <laughs> you know what? I'm pretty sure it was Little Theater of Winston Salem. Yes, yeah, 17 points. CTG and High Point tied for second. Thanks to David Swift for our gift certificate to the Sherwood. Brandon, I'm sure you will enjoy that. Um, next I week sure would. <laughs> See, that works. <laughs> it's just a damn popularity contest with you people. Next week. We're going to have representing Little Theater, Greg Vogelsmeyer, Jared Kuhn from Team CTG, Jess Barber from the Raleigh Little Theater, and Eric Seal from the Hickory Community Theater. So be sure and tune in. Congratulations, Brand, uh, and uh, support your local theaters. So before we say goodnight, Brandon, do you have anything you'd like to say to all of your friends out there? I would just like to say... I. Uh, I have had so much fun doing this. I'm so sorry, but it was so much fun. Thank you. <laughs> of course, Alan, you want to say good night to anybody? Uh, congratulations, Brandon. Also, uh, uh, go to ctgso.org and make a donation. We have an anonymous donor, and he's matching dollar for dollar any donations today up to $500. I'm just shameless plug, but, but that's the spirit of this, right? Indeed. Like we, we can Indeed. do a shameless plug for, for community theater. Yeah, so it's ctgso.org. And thanks for including me. This was awesome. All right. And so what you're saying is any donations tonight will be doubled. Exactly. And so um, so up to $500. So if 100 people pitched in five bucks, this donor is going to match them dollar for dollar today. Um, and so ctgso.org, if you got five bucks to pitch in. And of course, also, uh, while you're at it, send five bucks to my friend in High Point. I'm just saying. Yes. All right. Hey. Yeah. So Nick, Nick you want to say goodnight to anybody? Yeah. Yeah, um, thank you for having me. And uh, like I said earlier, if you can log on to Facebook 
and just send in a little message. Um, if you want to send a donation, we'll take that too. But um, just help us keep the arts alive and also um, go watch Annie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Annie Junior. Annie yeah, Junior. not any Annie. All right, Brandon. So just so you know, you're going to have to come back for our tournament of champions in a couple of weeks, and you're going to have to face off against Seth. I'm afraid, and I think that will get yep. quite ugly. Yep. Um, he's so going to be awesome. He'll, yeah, I, it will be hard. It will be. We are going to have to make these questions a little bit harder. So until next week, I am Cravy Train. I will see you then. Wash your hands. Wear your masks. Take care of each other, and I will see you next week. Bye, y'all. Thank you.